Never Stop Learning, week 278. We're gonna take a quick look at the Spiral Tool in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so here I've got some awesome artwork created by Ira Sloth, which is one of my vector heroes. And I'm gonna throw up a couple links so you can check out some of his work and amazing tutorials to help you get better at your vector workflow. All right, so he let me use this artwork for a presentation I did at Adobe Max, where I was showing off how to use the Extend Path tool inside of Vector Scribe by Stoop Graphics. But in this video, I wanna show you how to use the Spiral Tool native in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so it's really easy to use. Check this out, over here at the top left, in the Tools panel, you're gonna find the Line Segment Tool. Just click and hold, in the same stack, you're gonna find the Spiral Tool. All right, so now I got this guy activated, I'm gonna click and drag, and before I release my mouse click, I wanna show you some of the modifiers to help you get the exact look you're going for. All right, so I still have the mouse pressed down. And if I press down the space bar, I could reposition my spiral anywhere I want. All right, so I'm gonna release. Now I'm gonna switch over to the up arrow key so that I could extend my spiral. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to the down arrow key. And now I'm gonna retract my spiral. All right, so keep that in mind because you could use that to get the look you're going for. So I'm gonna use the space bar, bring it closer to my artwork, and then hit the up arrow key till I get the spiral looking how I want. And I just use the cursor to kind of spin this guy around. All right, so something like that looks pretty good, but I think I wanna retract this guy. So I'm gonna use the down arrow key a little bit. That looks great. I'm gonna release. Now I need uh, some other tools to kind of help me out here. So I'm gonna hit the end key to activate the pencil tool. All right, now that I have the pencil tool activated, I'm gonna hit return on my keyboard, and that's gonna bring up the pencil tool options. If you're on a PC, just hit enter, and you'll be able to see the same options. All right, down here in the bottom left, I'm gonna hit reset, just to make sure that my pencil tool is exactly like yours. Now over here at the top, you wanna grab this slider, and click and drag all the way to the right to make sure you have the maximum smooth setting. I'm gonna click okay, and now I'm ready to redraw. So I'm gonna click and drag, bring this guy over here. All right, something like that looks pretty good. All right, great. Now back in the tools panel in the same stack that you find the pencil tool, you're gonna to find the smooth tool. All right, so just use a smooth tool to smooth things out, however you need for your particular project. Now I could reposition this guy, bring it in a little bit closer, and I'm actually happy with how that looks. So there you have it folks, that's how you use the spiral tool native in Adobe Illustrator.